Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres. I'm so glad you came over to our channel today. And if you are new to my channel, I want to introduce myself. My name is Teresa. Okay, welcome to Our Green Acres everybody. I am so excited about today's video. Today's video is going to be a lot of projects that I'm going to show y'all of how we can create things using the Hippo water slide decal paper. This video is sponsored by Hippo and I want to show you all the ways that you can use this paper to transform your projects, make some really great fall decor pieces for your home or for any season for that matter. This decal paper will stick to wood, it will stick to coffee mugs, it will stick to ceramic, it will stick to glass, it will go just about on anything. So y'all stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it. And also, go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to. And also, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Thanks so much. Okay, y'all, let's get started with today's projects. Today's video is sponsored by Hippo Water Slide Decals. Y'all, we are always looking in this day and age of how we can apply graphics to our projects. We do everything from decoupage to Cricut, you know, napkins, you name it, transfer stamps, we're doing it. Well, this product right here is a really cool product that I want to introduce to y'all today. I'm going to show you some ideas and some projects that you can use them on. And also they'll be linked in my Amazon store. They're very affordable and you get 20 sheets of these to a pack. The first thing you want to do is get the graphic that you desire to print. And I'm going to give you some options for some free printable downloads. And also I purchased some from Etsy. I will link them down below. You'll want to put the sheet of the water slide decal paper in your inkjet printer. And on mine, I, I put the shiny side up. You want to go over your image three times with a clear acrylic sealer. I use Mod Podge. You could also use Rust-Oleum Spray Matte Clear. You want to go over it three times and you want to let it dry about uh, 10 minutes in between each coat. Once you get your ac acrylic applied, then you want to go around your image. You want to clip it and you want to leave a little bit for a border. Now this little project here is going to be really easy. I'm just going to apply this little graphic to a piece of scrap wood and just show y'all how cute. You know, you can just make little, you know, decor for your home just out of a piece of scrap wood. We can add a bow to it and how cute it'll turn out. But first I'm going to go over it with some watered down craft paint and I'm just using burnt umber. I went over it with my candle wax and I painted linen white and I distressed it. Now that my board's ready, you want to emerge your graphic in water for 30 to 60 seconds. It will curl up and it's supposed to. Then you want to take your fingers, you want to hold it at the top and you want to slide that paper down and out from your graphic. Then you want to just kind of work your graphic onto your, your base of your project. And then you want to take like a paper towel, you want to go over it and just kind of gently rub it and get that excess water and any bubbles out. And once you have your project dried off, just let it sit up and dry for about three hours. Okay, the next project is going to be some Dollar General fall charger plates. I paid a dollar or two for these. I have three of them. In last week's video, I transformed one. And this week, I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to do the second one. And I'm going to chalk paint it white. And then I took it outside and I sprayed it with some Rust-Oleum white spray paint. And again, I'm going to take a graphic, and this graphic I purchased from Etsy, and I'll link it down below. But I just printed it on my inkjet printer. I sprayed it three times with my Mod Podge. I let it dry between each coat. And now I'm just going to go around, and you want to trim the excess white off. Leave enough for your border. And I'm going to take those little leaves that are just kind of, you know, in midair. I'm going to cut those away. I don't want those. I just mainly want the little truck and what's in the bed of the truck. Now I'm going to, you know, soak it in the water. And like I've told y'all in the previous project, you soak it for about 30 to 60 seconds. And if it curls up, that's good. You know, it'll, it'll lay flat. And you just kind of, when, when you 
can feel the paper starting to slide from the back that's when it's ready so then you just hold again on the top and you just pull that paper from the back and once you pull out that white paper then you just kind of take your napkin and your or your paper towel and just kind of go around it just kind of dab it and rub it gently and just get any excess water off or any bubbles I then went around my plate with a little sanding block and distressed it around the edges and also just kind of brought out some of that embossed design and I thought this turned out so pretty for fall. Okay, the next project, we're going to make several projects out of this one graphic. Now this was a free download and I'm going to link it down below. But I love this little wagon and these pumpkins. But I ended up using two different designs off of this also. So I'm actually going to make several projects with this one free download. But this is a great gift idea. This could be for fall or if you need Christmas ideas. You don't have to design it with a fall theme. You could go with Christmas if you wanted to. And if you have a booth where you sell items and make them, I think a, a personalized, customized candle would be awesome. And you can pick up candles. This candle actually come from Aldi, and I think I paid $3.99 for it, so it was very inexpensive. So again, with my little hippo water slide decals, I did the same method that I've done in the first two projects you know I cut it down to size and then I'm going to cut that label off of what flavor my candle was and I'm going to stick it on the bottom that way if I give it as a gift that person that I give it to will know what flavor it is now I'm going to do my pumpkin logo at the top I'm going to do it separate because my candle the size of my candle area was a little bit smaller than my graphic so that way if i I put them on separately I can kind of arrange them and get them to fit on the front a little bit better now, after I soaked my little wagon in the water you know you can see my paper is releasing I'm holding it at the top and I'm just gently pulling it through the bottom now you always too want to wet your surface before you put your graphic on that way it will help it slide and you can position it a lot easier see how my little wagon is sliding around you know it don't take a lot of effort and that way you don't have to you know um you won't be as accessible to tear your graphic either now i'm going to apply my little pumpkin logo go across the top of it and get it you know centered and get it positioned where i want it and i think this candle turned out great i want to make some more of these and like i say i think this is a great gift idea now once i got it all applied then i just went over it with my napkin and or a paper towel and i just gently went over it and kind of dried it off and again you just let these set up for about three hours to dry all right, now the next project, I'm going to repurpose a piece of scrap wood. I made a fall sign out of this last year. I just painted over the back of it and covered it, and I'm just going to use the same piece of board and repurpose it. Now, this is another graphic that I purchased from Etsy, and I'll link it down below. But I hope I'm giving y'all lots of ideas and inspiration on things that y'all can do with these water slide decals. These things right here are pretty amazing. <laughs> the way you immerse them in the water and all you have to do is spray paint them with Mod Podge first. And that avoids bleeding. Because once you get those three layers of Mod Podge over your graphic, then you should not have to worry about it blurring or bleeding. And this one I just picked up. It was a lot larger graphic but I got it with both hands. I picked it up off the paper and I put it on my board that way. So like I say, you just have to kind of work with these and practice. It's like anything else that we do. You know, the more you practice, the better you get with it. Now I'm going to repurpose this cutting board. And I love cutting boards. And I have several. But they make great little decor projects. So this one is, I think I got this at a thrift store. And I think I paid maybe a dollar for it. And I'm going to use my, my good old green candle wax. And I'm going to go over it. And then I'm going, going to paint it with my linen white. And then I'll distress it with my plastic scraper. And I did a couple of coats of paint. And now I'm just going to lift that paint off. And I'm going to give it more of that chippy look. And then I'm going to have a really cute little harvest rabbit graphic. And he's going to be a free download. 
So, like I say, I'm giving y'all different options. You want to shop on Etsy, and I love supporting small businesses on Etsy, but I want to give you options if you want to go out and get some free printables also. So, and y'all know I love bunnies, and I, they're, you know, bunnies are no exception to me in the fall. I have bunnies out all year long. So, I'm just going to trim him up again, and this one I thought was so cute for harvest, and I love the little fall colors um, in him also so again we will just you know get him wet and for about 30 to 60 seconds and then we'll pull that paper off and again I'm just going to pull the whole graphic off because I feel like it's so large that I worked better with it that way but you just have to be careful that it don't fold on you and if your if your graphic does kind of tear or something th these decals are very forgiving just kind of get take your fingernail or your finger and just kind of put it back in place and fix it and i thought he turned out really cute now these are some hobby lobby beaded garland that i got and they were 8.99 and they were 40 percent off in the fall section so y'all that was a pretty good deal for a whole strand of long beads but i'm gonna make a really pretty tassel because i thought you know, I need a, a pretty tassel to go with today's projects and especially the little rabbit that I just made. And I had this um, this yarn that one of my sweet viewers sent me. And I, I'm pretty sure she bought, purchased these at Dollar Tree, but it's kind of a yarn that has mohair in it. So it's kind of, you know, got a little furry vibe going to it and I love it. But I love the fall orange colors in it. So I'm making some tassels. I took a little piece of scrap wood that I had. It's probably about four inches long and I wrapped my yarn around it about 50 times and then I'm just try tying it across the top and then I'll make um I'll tie that in a knot and then I tied it across the top again and then I will cut the bottoms and then I'll just give it a haircut and even it up and I think these make beautiful tassels and I'm just going to add these to the end of my beaded garland that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I think these will make, you know, this will make such a great detail and accent piece to my decor pieces that I've made today. Now, w once I got the other one made, now I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna tie one on each end of my garland and I'm going to leave those little those little loops on there in case they ever want to take this off and use it again you know that's the lovely part of tying these on you know you can take them off and you can change them out if you want to but I think these made beautiful tassels I love that orange colored little mohair yarn and like I say I think this was you know purchased at Dollar Tree now the next project I'm going to show you how we can use these little water slide detail decals to make some little tags because tags are so popular especially in the fall because you know we, we're always wanting those little fall quotes and little sayings well when I had my my free printable graphic that I had downloaded and I'd sprayed it with Mod Podge I thought well why not just take advantage of some more of these graphics on this sheet so I just cut this little fall word out and I soaked it in water you know I got it to where it would release and then I'm just going to apply it to a little wood tag that I purchased at Dollar Tree they come in a pack I'm going to wet it down in that area and then I'm just going to put that little that little fall word on it and that makes such a cute little tag that you can hang you know on your beaded garlands or attach them you know to you know your pumpkins or whatever you need maybe a little you know some kind of little embellishment for I think this was you know this was super easy and I already had all the, the supplies on hand I made a few more tags using these free downloads also these you can print out one sheet spray it with Mod Podge and you've got several different designs to put on your tags so you're basically just using one sheet of your water slide decal paper so this makes this very affordable for your projects so the next project is going to be another little maybe a gift idea or something too that you could sell in your booth but we're going to take these dollar tree soap dispensers and um, i'm going to use again one of those designs that was on that same sheet and i just cut out that little pumpkin the little wagon the little smaller version and i applied it to the little dollar tree soap dispenser and also i did a little pickup truck and um the this right here was an etsy purchase 
So I'm going to have it linked down below. But I love this little pickup truck. And if you purchase it, she gives you a small version. And she also gives you a larger version. version. And I just applied it and made some cute little soap dispensers for fall. I want to give y'all one more idea and inspiration for the water slide decal paper. If you don't want to apply it to a graphic, you don't have to. The quality of this paper is so nice. You know, it runs on an inkjet printer, but the quality is such a nice, it has a shine on it, and it fits in my printer really good. So I just put a sheet of it in there. I arranged some vintage recipes that, uh, that were Ben's grandmother's. I just arranged them on my kitchen counter, placed some little vintage measuring spoons with them, took a picture of them with my iPhone. I went over, put a sheet of my decal paper in my printer, printed it look at the great quality that it printed out so just just another idea you know if you want to make your own art decor you can with this paper so just another idea of, of something else that it's good for you know like i say you don't even have to apply it to anything just make your own art decor Last project is we're going to make a pumpkin. And y'all, I can't make a video for fall without us making a pumpkin to go with all of our other projects that we've made. And this is a paper sack pumpkin. I got the inspiration for this actually off my Facebook home decor page. And somebody had seen it on the shabby tree. And I will link the shabby tree Facebook page down below. But that's where they got the inspiration for this. But you want to make take one of those Dollar Tree pumpkin wire forms you want to take some brown paper bags and i had a, a pack of a hundred i didn't use all of them but it's going to take quite a few you want to glue them end to end one on top of the other and then you want to twist them and you want to cover the bars of your wire form first and i found this easier but it basically i just went out i saw a picture of it and just kind of went from there and kind of made up my own um technique of how to do it so i'm not real sure if the shabby tree if she did hers exactly like this because like i say i'm the top person i create i kind of just have to i just look at pictures and then i just kind of take it from there and and create it you know in my own way a lot of times so you just want to apply your hot glue down get your paper sacks on there as best you can you know and keep forming it as you go kind of keep twisting it and kind of you know folding them over to where they they will stay and i'm using a low temp uh, glue hot glue gun but i want you to know to be very careful because we are using hot glue here we are mashing down this paper i don't want anybody to get burned because you know you could so make sure you're you're protecting your hands or be very careful not to get your hands in the hot glue when you're when you're putting down your paper and you know and just go around you want to cover your whole form and when you have strips that are too long you just want to clip those off and then just get your hot glue and just kind of you know attach it in the places that you need to and like i say we want to go over uh, the whole pumpkin form and we want to cover all those forms first once you've got all the wire forms covered then we're going to go in between all of those we're going to twist up more paper and we're just going to go in we're going to start hot, hot gluing and we're just going to fill in all those gaps now if you have like gaps left in it to where you can kind of see through it don't worry about it you can go um in the end when you get it all covered you can go back and you can fill in those spots with some smaller strips of paper but y'all i think this turned out incredible and it looks good in its natural state brown but there's so many options to this because some of the ones that i saw they spray painted them with like a pumpkin orange spray paint but my walmart today was really low on spray paint so they definitely didn't have any orange but if you can find the um the orange spray paint you you can spray paint it white i've seen some people that dry brush these 
white and kind of left some of the brown and did a little bit of dry brushing with you know white chalk paint you could also spray paint it white or cream color whatever colors fit your home decor for the fall season you know that that's what you could paint it and you don't even have to paint it like i say if you just leave it in the natural state i think it'd be gorgeous now i'm going to make a stem i just cut the bottom off of two of the bags i put one of the bags in the other one just to add some thickness put that over the wire form stem and just just shape it and make your own stem and i just kind of attached it i put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of it to secure it onto my stem and it's as simple as that now how cute is this you can add a bow and i think this is just you know very easy project to do and it's very inexpensive Okay, now let's just sit back and look at all the things we've created today and just see how well they all complement each other. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old? Okay, y'all, we're coming close to the end of the video. 
First of all, before I end, I want to give a big thank you to Hippo Waterslide Decal Paper for sponsoring this video. And I hope y'all got a lot of inspiration and ideas of things that you can create using this product. It was so much fun using the decal paper. So many options and so many projects you can work on with this paper. I'm going to have it linked in my Amazon store. It will be under the craft supply category. So I hope y'all will go out. I hope you'll get some and I hope you'll make lots of projects with it. And if you do, please tag me over on Instagram and also on my Facebook Home Decor page. I'd love to see what y'all create with it. As always, y'all, I appreciate y'all for coming over to my channel. I hope you'll subscribe and I hope you'll come back. And until my next video, I hope y'all have a great weekend. I love y'all and I will see you then. Bye.